follow this tutorial, it's important that your GarageBand is up to date. If you have version 10 or higher, feel free to skip on to the next video. If you don't or don't know what I mean, the three steps to find the latest version are Number 1. Open GarageBand Number 2. Check the version in the About section And Number 3. Download GarageBand via the App Store To open GarageBand, go to your Finder window, type in GarageBand or find it in the Applications folder. Once you double-click the GarageBand icon, a pop-up screen will appear giving you options about the initial setup. For now, I'll start with an empty project and hit Choose. After the GarageBand main window opens, we can check what version we're running. To do that, click GarageBand on the top menu and then About GarageBand. Here you can find the version that you have. Mine is 10.0.3. If your version is 10 or higher, feel free to skip on to the next video. If not, downloading the latest version of GarageBand is easy. To do so, we need to go to the App Store. On a Finder, if you type in App Store, you can double-click the App Store icon and open it. In the App Store, if you type in GarageBand altogether, the first option you'll get is the latest version. Simply install and follow the steps, and you'll be set to go. Okay guys, stay tuned for the next tutorial on deconstructing the GarageBand layout.